Hi everyone, I'm Anne Koizumi and I'm the writer and director of a short film called In the Shadow of the Pines. The film is about my relationship with my father and it's also about my identity and how it was shaped by those around me. For one part of my film, I created a family portrait where my sisters, brother, my mom, and my dad would be represented in one scene. You probably notice that there are no people in this scene. I did that on purpose so you would focus on the objects in the room. The different objects in the room represent different members of my family. And they're actual objects that exist in my old family home. The activity that I've prepared for you today is to create a family portrait using a diorama or a set, like in my film. Your family portrait can include immediate family members, such as your brother, your sister, your parents, uh, maybe your pets. But your family portrait can also include your chosen family, and chosen family could be your friends, maybe your neighbor. Now, what I want you to ask yourself is if your family member were an object, which object would you use to represent them? For example, in my film, I used a painting that my oldest sister made when she was in university. And I created a miniature version of that painting because I'm reminded of where my creativity came from. Think about why you would choose that object to represent your family member. Now that you've decided who's gonna be in your family portrait, ask yourself, where is the family portrait going to take place? For my film, it was inside of my old family living room. But maybe your family really likes spending time in nature. Maybe it's at a beach, or maybe it's at a park, or maybe it's at the cabin. I'll let you decide. So for this project, you'll need a box. It could be an old shoe box, or maybe you received a delivery recently, and there's a perfect size box for this project. Um, it would also help to have a pair of scissors, some construction paper, some plasticine, glue or tape. If you want to make something a bit more advanced, you can use balsa wood, which is available at most craft stores, and you'll need an X-Acto knife to cut the wood. You'll also need some paints and some paint brushes to paint the balsa wood. And don't forget to ask an adult for help, especially when you're using the X-Acto knife. Let's get started. Et voila, my current family portrait with my partner and two cats. My partner is a bowl of noodles. I'm a bowl of rice. My cat Mimi is the big sneaker. And my cat Tampopo is his favorite toy, which is a fish on a stick. Have fun creating your own family portrait and enjoy Real Asian Film Festival.